Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. Uh, you're joining us today for the E46. Costing. <laughs> Costing E46 disaster list. E46 disaster list. Uh, we, we, we've got it here ready to go. We're going to go uh, through the car and see, see what you could have won. <laughs> a better car. No. Uh, nah, that's all right. The goods and the bads, that's what we're going to go through. Mm -hmm. The goods and the bads. We're going to lift her up on the left, have a good old look underneath. Poke some things. And see what it's going to cost. And to see, fix the make a list thing. and do a, do a how much will it cost at the end of the day. Oh. Well, we didn't actually tell you how much the car cost last week. Oh, yes. Um, we didn't. We, after a bit of haggling. <laughs> we... If you want to know, stick to the end of the show. Oh, you cheeky monkey. I know, right? <laughs> right, we'll tell you at the end. Yeah, um, tell you at the end. Let's go and have a look at how bad or how good or how Where bad it is. Should we start the butt and work our way to the front? Well, there's not much wrong with the butt. <laughs> <laughs> he says, <laughs> with the lovely pink. Oh yeah, check this out. Check this Come out. Have a look. Hold on a minute. <laughs> are we forgetting something? We really are forgetting something. It's one of the last last episodes of the year, and what better way to go out than with a bloody competition? Competition time, guys. Competition time. You get to win this look. Obviously. We'll put a new head torch in. Yeah, not, this is one of Lewis's like, old scabby head torches. Is that for display purposes display only? Display purposes only. You will get only. a brand new white restoration head torch. This really useful and cool as hell top don top scan. Courtesy of our friends over Diagnostics. at top, top Don. Brilliant, brilliant gear, guys. Um, also, some white restorations merch. Yeah, we'll chuck in a bit of merch. Mugs. Stickers, key rings. Well, sticker um, keyrings, yeah. All you have to do, now we haven't decided what they have to do, but what it's should we so do? It's so easy. Comment. Put a comment. Tell us something. Yeah. Write something in the comment. Yeah. Drop something out. Say hello. Happy Christmas. Anything that pops whatever you into want. your head. Yeah. <laughs> ask us a question. What you'd like to see in, in next yeah. year on the channel, maybe. What's been your favourite thing in the last <sighs> year? Anything. Go nuts. Well, don't go too nuts. Don't want to get banned. No. But, um, there you go, lovely bundle, we'll get that off to you. We're gonna draw the competition, I think. Should we draw it on New Year's Day? Yeah. Should we do New Year's Day? Yeah. We'll draw it on New Year's Day. Yeah. So you've got from now, the video going out, now, until New Year's Day, three o'clock. <laughs> Specifically. In the afternoon, that's when I'm closing the competition. Okay. Maybe we'll do a live draw in the evening or something. Sounds good. Sounds good. The paint. boot, the paint oh. on the boot, you can just sort of, Oh, the clear coat. Scrape like, it into a. I don't know if it's a coating on it or if the clear coat's broken down. Or it looks like the clear coat's completely been burnt off by something chemical oh, don't or. Stinks. Don't breathe that in. Yeah, don't breathe that <coughs> in. Chemical or. Something dramatic has happened to this paint. Extremely dramatic. Um, this is just the boot lid. Basically, the whole car needs a repaint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, should I put that on the list? Let's, let's start with a big one, eh? Let's start with a big one. Full okay. repaint. Full repaint. Man, they don't get much bigger than that. Okay, so um, what are we going to cost that at? Are we going to do it full well, retail? Because it's got cheap. Mm, no, it's, it's, I'm not paying for it. <laughs> thank goodness. Someone's going to have to pay for it. Thank goodness we don't have to pay anybody's labour Yeah, I can't this. afford my own You can't shop afford rate. your labour. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's not going to be cheap with the materials and it everything. It is not. So, um, so that's interesting, isn't it? It is very interesting. Um, it's got some special type of crazing on this quarter. Uh, yeah, it it's, it's has. It's been painted with rattle can or... It's so weird. It's, I know, it's, like, it's like cracked leather. It is, it's like almost. an elephant's butt. It's terrible. It's this all is also across. seized. <sighs> yeah. Don't Boing. Need... The rear arch needs to be replaced on this side. The other side, I'm pretty sure, will clean up. You think that's all right? Right. Yeah. So this, this is may need an side. inner arch and an outer arch. We don't know yet. Right. Don't know until you get in there. You don't. But, but it, look at it. It is so crispy. It is so crispy. There are big chunks coming off and all. Yeah, so new arch on that side, but... The rear discs. Rear brakes, Rear yeah. brakes, completely shot. I've never seen a lip on a disc that big. It is proper there, isn't yeah. it? So yeah, yeah. pads, discs on the back. The fronts are new, so that's a bonus. Um, but the wheels also need a refurb. The wheels are so bad. I don't know how you... It's, it's full of corrosion and curbing and... Oh, it's got... Moving swiftly on. Right. The uh, sills. Can they see that? Am I in the way? Hold on. I don't know. The trim clips are all wrecked. I think it's a... I don't know. What? 
Trim clips are wrecked. Trim, trim clips. I'm trim clips. Them on the cells themselves. Okay. Um, we'll there, find out. There when may we lift be it up. a patch that needs welding behind that one. Yay! Front front wings. They gotta go. They gotta Indicate, go. Uh, indicators. Indicators. Wing mirrors. You should know this is a BMW. It doesn't, it doesn't have, have indicators. indicators. Um, they need. They're okay. They just need repainting. Yeah. Oh, we're not sure. They're supposed to be electric. They're not working. Uh, we'll have a look into wing mirrors. Um, trim clips, wing mirrors, two new front wings because there's no Pair point in repairing these. And a bonnet. And a bonnet. Front wings. And a bumper. Hold on, me. So list. basically a new front end. Front wings. This list is getting very long. Yeah, so we're in the engine bay. Um, we need a full, full service, service, a big service, yeah. an oil flush, a coolant flush, brake fluid flush, brake fluid flush, fluids. power steering flush. It needs a new power steering top lid because there's oil. I don't know. Sorry about losing the audio, guys. We're here reshooting because that's the professionals that we are. We were going to do a voiceover and we said no. Back it down was to the crap. workshop. It was a crap voiceover. It was terrible. Engine. Great, um, that's it. Shut the bonnet. No, this is the 330D. Yeah, it's the 330D. They suffer with swirl flaps that get sucked into the engine and kill the engine. I don't know if they've been deleted. We don't. We need to check. I'll try and get my phone up underneath to see if you can see, if you guys can see if they've been deleted. Where's my, where's my endoscope gone? It stopped working because it, died, it was a it? wish one and they stopped following up I'd on the app. I'd better get on Timu and see if there's a better one. Yeah. Anyway. This, uh, so swirl flaps, um, we don't know if they need dealing with. Clutch. And the clutch yeah. is a massive expense. It's probably the biggest expense like of quid. the whole thing. It's Just five, in five, parts it's alone. 500 pounds. Is it 500? It's 500 Oof. pounds. Because the dual mass and the clutch kit are separate things. And it's the dual mass that's about to go into orbit. And we're not um, going to change this to single mass, <clears> are we? No, it's all been designed with a dual mass in mind. It needs to be kept that way. Do we start it so they can hear it at home? They heard it last Did time. Did they hear it? They okay. Heard it last time. Um, I'll do a rendition of that. Clack, 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 clack. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. That Thank was very you. accurate. It's uh, it's ingrained. It's ingrained. Um, oh, this brake line. Lewis doesn't like this brake line. That brake line. It's, it's just a different colour to the others, and it's not been done very nicely. So that needs redoing. There's an Allen key there. That's my Allen key. Tap. Do you want to know what his name is? Go on. Allen. What well, what are the chances of that? <laughs> what are the chances of that? To the interior. Right, interior wise. Driver's seat is a mess. It is a mess. It's got a little bit of wear on those bolsters, yeah, I, but nothing I don't think we can I repair. Think what colour was this again? Hellgrau. Hellgrau, a little Light bit gray, of hellgrau yeah. um, colour back on the seats bloody too. Clean. Um, and a repair. And a repair. I think we will repair it and... Um, I think so. I'd like to give it a, little, a go. And do little, a little video on it. It looks but. just like bodywork to me. Filler, primer, paint. But we kind of lucked out a bit, didn't we? The seats are extremely extremely rare. Mm -hmm. This is a, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, Futura? Futura? Futura, Futura, Futura. I will check. I can't remember the pronunciation. Um, it's an few, individual. Is it an individual option? It's a special individual option, I think. But Even though this is not, not an individual, individual yeah. car, this is a very special option seat. If you have a look, you'll see that the stitching's going down on the seats. Yeah. Um, Advice, it's a bloody so beautiful, beautiful interior, interior and it turns out this Just interior that. is worth more than what we paid for the car, yeah, so massively. bargain. So yeah. Um Worst case, this is getting. We just of got them. to repair the, the the driver's seat, and it's right back up to being singing again because the is. rear seats are basically brand new. Yeah, they're, they're, they're hardly so anymore. Nice. They just need a bloody good clean. You know, they've got crap on. And the on passenger them. seat, it's got a little bit of wear on the bolster, yeah. but. But we are going to do a proper like repair on that major damage. Yeah, which will yeah. be fun. We also need a replacement one of these things. That oh God, yeah. Is You've got those in I've the stores. I've got a couple in, in the stores, yeah. Hopefully I've got one in good enough, Nick. Yeah, a couple. And you need one of those. One of these? Yeah, you need a new knob. Hold on, before you go underneath, uh, you're going to be needing this. One of our awesome head torches available on the web store. What, why don't you come down with me and show them the difference it makes. Oh, bloody hell, okay. Hello. Hold on, let me turn. I'm turning turn the, the camera. Camera, torch off. camera torches oh, off. It's so dark under here. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see nothing. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Hold well on. Whoa, look at that. Oh, hold on. That's, that's just. 
Oh my god, That's do disco better. mode. It there we go. <laughs> yeah, don't look too bright. Hold on, I'm turning my torch on as well. There we go. This, these oh. are amazing. We have sold so many yeah, of them. Yeah, thank it's you to everybody who's ordered. Yeah, you're all amazing. Um, if you want one, go to the Wild Restoration shop and buy one. It is a game changer for working underneath your car. It lights the way. It I'm just looking at the up. exhaust. Looks all right. That's a bonus. Oh, battery box, honey. Battery box needs a little bit of attention. Bit crispy looking. But is it solid? Yeah, it feels solid. So. So okay. solid, crew. Oh, yeah. You were saying. The solid is okay. It's solid. Just, solid. Solid. Just solid. There's a crusty bit here. Oh yeah, I see that. But again, it's right by the fuel tank, but it's solid, you know, it just needs cleaning back, treating. Now, it needs doing now. Yeah. We couldn't leave uh, it any same longer. There. It looks like matching again. Is that like a crud corner or something on these? Mm, don't know. Don't know. These chassis bracings look alright. Um, bushes, bushes are a problem on these, aren't they? Um, front control arms. Front control are arms are a problem. Not too bad, aren't they, really? I was expecting a lot worse. Yeah, oh. Brake lines look okay. So Fuel the um, shielding on the ah. front has smashed to pieces here. That needs replacing. Probably from a lift. Um, the side's okay. What, someone's tried to jack up on a plastic cover all? Yeah, probably. Oh, it's missing this. Oh! Um, is that some sort of access panel? It is an access hatch for the sub bolt there, which looks like it needs changing. That actually doesn't look like it's been changed in a while. Can I have a look? <laughs> Let me have a look. Does that look like well, that's been off for a while? Hello. That doesn't. It's also rounded. I would say that is desperate for a new sump bolt and probably an oil change. You know how I do like to put a new sump bolt on every oil change? It's kind of <sighs> never been changed, I'd say. Right, control arms. Control oh, arm. this one's new. Look, oh, that's it's shiny. shiny. New control arm, older control arm. The bush at the back does look cracked um, so we'll either replace the bush or the whole control arm this is missing yeah. every bolt it's got lovely tie wraps that are not tie wrapped into anything oh all the way around beautiful oh, oh look and there zip tied on. <laughs> oh, that smashed oh, to pieces that smashed to pieces this is all bent to buggery i think we need a new under tray kit oh my god it's so wet oh that needs investigating yeah Maybe that's, that that would be the oil from the. Has the front of the number plate melted? Right. Better than I thought it'd be. All right, we'll go with that. We're happy with that. It's a good starting point. Yeah. Right, we're going to go and check the um, the codes on the car. Do a bit of diagnostics. Now, our friends over at Top Don have sent us a top scan. Now, this is a it's a diagnostics module that you plug into your car, connects to your phone. And it is so good for the DIYer at home because you can you can do your own diagnostics. You can check what your engine lights on for. You can do real time monitoring of engine systems and things. It is a really snazzy bit of kit, and um, they've given us one to give away with our competition. So check that out. It'll be interesting to see how many faults we've got on this. When you open the door, the gauges moved. Did they? Yeah. I swear they did. Gonna look at that on, on the recording. We'll have a look at that. It's so, scared. It's obviously scared. It's obviously scared. Let's have a look in the box now. You could bring this with you when you're gonna go and buy a car as well to check if anything. Maybe we should have done that. So uh, in the box, you get your instructions, you get your dongle. That's all you need. Let's have a look. Have a look at it. Look at that, it's pretty swish. It is pretty swish. Pretty swish. Got some LED lights on the bottom. Let's plug it in. Oh, oh. That's not a good sign. The is flap's open? already open. Oh, oh my God. That's always fun when the, when the diagnostics are already open. Oh, did you hear that beep? We have confirmation it is connected. Quite... Diagnostics type, automatic or manual? Should we go auto? Let's make it easy. Enter the VIN manually or tap read to acquire the VIN. We have a VIN. We, it, I didn't even have to enter it. Right, Brilliant. confirm. Oh. God, this is so handy for people who don't have the budget for a massive system, isn't it? Yeah. We've got data. Right, oh, here we go. BMW, correct. 3 Series, correct. E46, correct. 330CD, correct. M57, can rear wheel drive, right, that is it, confirm. How many codes can a car have? I don't that's know. That's our record holder. Is it? Yeah, yeah. that's a lot on that one. Yeah. Hopefully this one. Oh, God. 
is thinking about it a lot. Oh god, oh, the airbag lights like, flashing. Oh. There's stuff happening. How many reds is that? That's a lot of reds. First one says fault two, fault then fault seven. Convertible fault top eight. has two faults. What's that? Um, open control button permanently active. Float. Right, so it sounds That's like we one. have a stuck button. A stuck button. Probably bad valeting. Probably bad valeting. Some of these chip greases in the button. Now have a look at this. It's got it's got some options here. If I click that one, what does it tell? What does it do? Oh, it's searching Ooh, for the search. error code. Mm. Now that's handy. That is Bloody handy. handy that. Uh, what's this one do? Uh, fault type currently not. Pro do you know what these could be stored? They, I think most of these would be stored codes. Right. Shall we do a full clear of the codes? Let's now? clear it and see what comes well, up. Well, so we cleared the codes. Cleared. Rescanned. We've got. Only these codes now. Which so I can't see from your phone at that you angle. See? Turn it a little bit towards, there we go. There you go, we've got these codes. We've only got these codes now, which is a lot less than what we started off with. Mm. But we have two faults for the diesel fuel. Um, all the glow plugs were wonky, weren't they, before? That's what it said. What's it gonna say now? Read the codes. Mm. Oh, so now we've only got two glow plugs that are wonky. The other code in the general module. Okay. Mirrors. mirrors. We know the mirrors are wonky. Yeah, they don't work. Yeah, there's something going on with the mirrors. Um, the mirror heater and the driver's mirror is open. That's all yeah. mirrors. It's all mirrors. Maybe we've got broken wires. If I could just click the, the, the magnifying glass so I can go and have a look to see what's coming up and there's, there'll be helpful tins and ha hints and tips on how to fix that. Not hints and tips. Hits, hints and tips. <laughs> <laughs> hits and tips. <laughs> and the last one is with the climate control. So let's have a look at that. Now this is the heating. Oc heating. heating. Auxiliary, auxiliary heating. heating. Has it got auxiliary heating? Must have. Automatic cabin recirculation. Right, that'll be the flappy flaps. Okay. Maybe Something yeah. with that. Maybe well, we'll have a look into that. But guys, this is so handy. If you're going to go and have a look from at from loads car, of fault yeah, codes. Yeah, to only three. And there's a lot of... We're going to exit that. There's a lot you can do with this. What's the vehicle profile? Right, it tells oh. you everything about the vehicle. Right, now I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better after doing that. That was that was that went from a lot of codes to <laughs> less codes. A, a lot of codes to a lot less codes and we yeah. know exactly what we're dealing with now. But I have to say, if you've got somebody in your life, um, ladies and men, who love their gadgets and love their cars, get them one of these. They can do their own diagnostics, they can That was actually quite in depth diagnostics yeah. and look really easy to navigate. For a Bluetooth dongle that was bloody yeah in -depth. I'm, not, I'm not very techy no. so easy navigation stuff is where it's at for me it's, you can also do maintenance things like uh, do your steering wheel uh, lineup and your brake bleeding there's so many maintenance things do dpf abs you can code batteries in really good bit of kit highly very recommended Right to then. be honest, everything topped on a Centos to test or whatever has been absolutely top phenomenal. Notch. It's literally top notch, top notch. It's on. really good stuff. It is. I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Right then, let's get back onto the car. We've had a good look round. Are you okay? Do you no. need a stiff drink? No, I just we just totted it up. We just totted up the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This isn't yeah. even. This is just the price for us. The wheels up. This is, us. This is what it no will cost labor. us. No labour, just all, yeah. buying in the parts, okay? We've done a rough cost things for everything that we wrote down. And Let's go through them bit by bit. Okay. Let's not scare everybody off straight away. Don't forget. This what's is the cheapest What's the cheapest thing? Knob. Knob. 30, 30 quid. 30 quid. That's if it's not an illuminated knob. Oh, I'm, yeah, if you I, want a genuine yeah. illuminated BMW one, knob. it's 300 pounds. It does look nice though, doesn't it? It does look it does nice. Look nice. Uh, we'll see about that. Let's go from the top. So we'll full repaint. About that. I'm not buying the 300 quid gear knob. <laughs> <laughs> not for that. Not for that. For that one, maybe. No, definitely yeah, not for yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. No, no, no. Right, no. Uh, full repaint. Um, you're looking at materials bill of about £2,000 before you even touch the car. That's just ordering the stuff in. I don't know. I disagree with you on that one. I think um, materials bill on this... We're not bare metaling it. We're not going to bare metal it. Um, it doesn't all need primer. The doors will just sand and paint. So we do need to repaint every new panel that we'll get from the front forwards. And it's just rear quarters and the boot. Um, but it does need some heavy needs. sanding. That oh, there's needs, a lot of again, contamination. A lot of, I think we're probably still looking at a thousand pounds, but probably not two. I tell you what we pounds. could do. I tell you what we could do. We could knock it all back, get it all nice and smooth, and then put barcode on it. 
seal everything else Ooh, in no. it. No, no, no thank right. you. <laughs> Not doing that. Right, so paint. Next thing, a couple of gas rams, super cheap, 20 quid. Rear arch for that side. 100 pounds. I think we need two rear arches. But 100 pounds. We'll see how that goes. 100 pounds. Uh, rear brakes, 100 pound for discs and pads. Yeah. Uh, the wheel refurb, not cheap, at least not 400 cheap. It's quid. 100 quid a corner. Yeah, 100 quid a corner. Tires are all very good and very you can reuse new, those, so reuse they can go them. straight back on. Uh, trim clips, they're a little bit 20 yeah, quid. Okay. Uh, wing mirrors, we don't know if we need to replace them or not. I'll I put a question mark next we're gonna, to that. We're going to have a go at trying to repair them ourselves. Yeah, we'll try and um, refurb. Them. Front wings, pair of 200 quid. Yeah, easy 100 quid a side. Um, Bonnet. I know those aren't BMW prices. Yeah. These are the prices we're getting off of online. Factors, yeah. yeah. Um, a bonnet, second hand, under quid. I've got a mate who's got a, an E46, not Touring. a convertible. Uh, I'm hoping the bonnet will... We don't know if they're interchangeable. I don't think it will. But we can get a second hand one. Right, that's that one then. Front bumper, you look about 160 quid for a good for a one. For pound, pound, front bumper. M Sport fine. It's as plastic, well. isn't yeah. it? Um, full service, you look at about 200 quid for the Easy peasy, all the fluids. filters, yeah. fluids. We Like I said, we want to do a good flush of the engine yeah. oil and a good flush of the gearbox and coolant that. and gearbox oils, diff oils. Mm. It all needs to do now. Over 100,000 miles, it all needs to do. And you need to buy quality stuff. You buy cheap, you buy twice. Yeah. Buy good filters, good lubricants, and they'll last longer. Yes. Yeah, even though you should stick to your, your, your schedule yeah, maintenance anyway. Car, especially if your car's chain driven, service mm, it regularly. Definitely. Uh, that brake line needs swapping out. Put a question mark next to that because we do that ourselves and we've got all the stuff in stock. So. Again, I'd probably get one from Scrappy if it's if they've got a clean one, clean one? or straight from BMW. I've got a BMW E46 contact. I might be able to yeah. uh, wangle something. Uh, dual mass and clutch, not cheap. That's a big one, 500 quid. squids. 500 quid. Oh, that's a stinger. Mm -mm. And that needs to be done for it to drive. So yeah. there's no point in doing no anything if it's not driving. That. No labour in that. No, la no labour in any of these. No labour in any of this stuff. Seat refurb. We haven't decided if we're doing it in-house. We'll but probably make a nice YouTube video of it. I think so. Um, Restoration uh, of leather interiors. Surely we can't make it worse. No, but don't do it because it's really rare for seats. Yeah. <laughs> uh, centre console, we've got one of them in the back. Um, fix the roof flappy flappies. Yeah, that's easy to fix. You're looking at a total of around £4,000. Oh, but did you take the £1,000 off because your paint bill was two grand? Oh, those, right, so okay. So let's see £3,000. £3,080. Three to £4,000, depending Three on how much paint work we have to do. Oh, and how much was the car? The car was. Eight hundred quid. Eight hundred pounds. Eight hundred pounds. I'm sorry, did you just put that on my E30? I put it on the cover. I will move this Thank small very much. whiteboard. Put it on that one. Car was eight hundred pounds. Car was eight hundred pounds. Um, to be honest, when we saw it, we nearly walked away. If it wasn't because it was Lewis's old car, we would have left it where it was. But now we shall restore it back to its former glory. Yeah. I'm not spending three grand on it though, <laughs> trust me. It will be a lot cheaper than that. Um, there are some scenario. things we can't get around, like a clutch. Yeah. She's up. <laughs> and we're back in the room. We're back. Look who's awake. Oh. Say hello. Hiya. <laughs> Look how big oh, she's getting. She's getting so big. So big. Ooh, and oh. so wiggly. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That is right. That is right. That yeah. is right. Hey, so you were saying about the car. Yeah, um, nothing serious. It's just not. It's, when you were pulling up to petrol stations? It's, it's one, it was one of those cars that when you parked up, filling up, you'd get people walking past looking at the car going, hmm, that's a nice car. That's a 1946. That's a 1946. That's and I would like to bring it back to the point where. Somebody walk past it and goes, oh, look at that, that's nice. It will happen, because this is going to be a keeper, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We can't keep them all, but we're trying. We're trying. <laughs> we're, we're doing we're gonna our have best. To, we're going to have to build another shed. Oh, my God, can you imagine? Mm. Ooh, anyway, yeah. guys, we're rambling too long. We are. Um, we will see you again soon. Super thank you for watching. Um, thank you to all the new members and patrons. Head over patrons. to the shop, buy yourself a head torch, because they are worth they are every awesome. penny. Yep. Um, and whilst you're there, have a look around, maybe buy a t-shirt or a mug. Right, we better get off. This one's going to need some lunch. Yeah. You're going to say yeah. goodbye? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.